and we're calling all Metro Detroit football moms to this year's event. I have a host of pro moms coming out to my moms, my first fan. I would love to hear from these moms. I love to hear from them as well. So come out, have a great time with us. It's a great community event. We look forward to seeing you there. Behind every NFL player is a great mother who supported them behind the scenes. This Sunday, football moms from across Metro Detroit will be honored. That's right, and that includes mothers of some of the greatest players born in Detroit. And former Lions wide receiver Herman Moore will be there as a special guest. Joining us live in the studio this evening, Kari Frazier, the founder of Detroit is Different, and Constance Moss Spice Davis, the mother of retired NFL player Anthony Spice Adams. Thank you both so much for being here. So tell Thank us you. about this event coming up this weekend. All right, so My Mom's My First Fan is a community event for the Detroit moms of Detroit, the football moms that really want to come out. And how can you do an event like that and platform it without pro moms? So my spice and so many others so tracy robinson gladys bettis and many others gwendolyn mia it'll be so many pro moms to give game to detroit football moms and the game is definitely by this one because my <laughs> spice has so many stories and so much information and a wealth of something to give in the community at mary grove conservancy sure and there are so many mothers who really support those athletes in their journey throughout the entire thing. How does it feel for you to know that you're being specifically honored for doing that work? I am elated. We have an organization called the Professional Football Players Mothers Association. I am the regional coordinator of that organization and we are a national 501c organization and we got together some 26 years ago to really see what the NFL was about and especially since this is something that our sons was being a part of then we wanted to be a part too. So in getting in it, we learned so many things that the NFL offers. Like when um, Anthony first got in, he didn't finish school and they pay for that. So I encouraged him to go back. He did. He got his undergraduate degree and then he went back and got his master's. So, of course, I tried to get him to go back and get his doctorate, but that didn't work. But anyway, he um, has done well in NFL. He was there for nine years. Uh, four years with the 49ers, five years with the Bears. And so our organization got together to uh, serve, support, and strengthen uh, the communities by charitable giving. So we come to uh, different places and we try to help out as much as we can. It started out with eight moms coming here. Now it's up to 26 because I started telling them, look, Detroit is different. We're doing so many different things. This is going to be wonderful. You guys need to come and see what Detroit is about. And I was showing them pictures. We've been doing things, especially doing things with Kyrie here. And so I'm excited. They're excited. And we're going to have a good time in this 2024 draft. That's great. And being a pro football mom is not something many people can, can say they, they've done. Right. What was that experience like? Um, it is different because when Anthony first started, he started out with the 49ers and then um, he got let go. And so uh, one of the moms called me and she says, um, Connie, I understand that Anthony's in between blessings. So I just wanted to support you, let you know that that happens sometimes in this organization, but he'll be okay. And so she says, so because you're going through something right now, I'd like to take you out. I said, oh, okay. She took me to the Oprah show, so I was so excited. But the thing about it is that when we went to the Oprah show, the Bears had picked him up. <laughs> and when the Bears had picked him up, they had uh, something going on, and I was able to take them to that, met some of the old, you know, I shouldn't say old Bears, but you know, <laughs> the retired you Bears. Retired Bears. <laughs> I met some of the retired Bears, and um, we well, had the opportunity to take them there. So because you go through things when they get hurt or injured or let go, you know, we're there to support them. And then listening to the stories of the other moms, it kind of helps you to tell them what to do or how to say things or tell you, well, you know what, he need to go talk to this trainer or take him here, do this or do that with him. So being in that organization and being a part of this group has really helped me out a lot. Yeah, you know, the mothers can often be the unsung heroes for a lot of athletes and their mm -hmm. success. 
Why is it so important that we honor them? I think that the richness, it just pours back into the culture of Detroit. Like when we think about this, the matriarchs in our community are the moms. Uh, even obviously, you know, the dads play a pivotal role in community, but moms really gather everyone. It's the, it's the social thing. Like um, even the sponsors that with the idea and conceptually, they were like, we support that. So that's Visit Detroit stepped in, Teen Hype stepped in, uh, Grand Valley State stepped in, and many others partnered with us, Kresge, Skillman, uh, shout out to Keith Williams and Karen Dumas and so many that said, we want to see this come to life because if you're going to platform and honor the matriarchs in our community, we want to be there and a part of it. So that's beautiful. And who are you hoping comes out to the event this weekend? Well, we're looking for the Detroit football moms and their families. We want them to come out and be full-fledged, in effect. It's going to be full. We're also going to have a wealth of resources. So those resources will include some presentations, but also resource tables. So healthy food, healthy living. Uh, it's going to be some fun, some information about NILs that uh, Herman Moore and his team, 84, will talk about. And really, you're going to be able to connect to the mm -hmm. pro moms because yes. if you're a Detroit football mom, even if your son does not reach the NFL, if so much game along the way, even through college or high school, uh, dealing with injuries, dealing with losses, dealing with like, here's one of the things uh, that always plays out. If you have multiple kids, just because he has a game coming up, dishes need to be washed, and that may be some uh, inner politics in the household that need to be managed. You know, pro moms can help you with a little bit of that. Sure, sure. My Spice, what is your message to other football moms, especially those who are in the beginning stages of their children's career? To always support your kids. Be in their lives as far as like, okay, I'll just give you a good example. When um, I was a booster mom, and I was, you know, working, trying to sell hot dogs and <laughs> potato chips or whatever, and um, on our way home, Anthony would always say to me, Ma, did you see me make that play? Did you see this, see that? I said, Anthony, I'm selling hot dogs. I mean, how can I, I can't do two things at once. He says, but you didn't come out to see anything. So what I started doing was I started coming out the kitchen, going out there, watching him do stuff, you know, and one little thing happened to him. He was, uh, had to come back in and his helmet, he couldn't get his helmet snapped, right? And so I saw that. So when we were on our way home, I said, Anthony, what happened? You couldn't get your helmet snapped or whatever? You saw that? So that made me know that I have to watch and see something to tell him that I did. I saw that, Anthony. I saw when you made that play, you did a good job, you know? He um, cracked his helmet one time. And he had to wear a white helmet in the game. And my nephew called me and said, Auntie Connie, who is that on King's team with the white helmet. I said, why? I mean, what, is he not playing well? What? No, they say he's a beast. I said, oh, are you kidding me? I said, that's your cousin. That's Anthony. That's Anthony with that white helmet on. You know, so, but he wanted to wear it. I wouldn't let him. So it's the support that you have to have. You have to pay attention to every detail because if I let him get out there with that helmet on, crack like that, he probably wouldn't be in the NFL today. Sure, sure. <laughs> She's dropping a lot of gems, and you can get all of those for yourself at that event. We'll have all the information for you on our website, cbsdetroit.com. Again, thank you both for joining us. Oh, you're thank welcome. You. Thanks thank for you. having us. All right. And my mom's my first fan is this Sunday from 2 to 6 at the Mary Grove Conservancy in McNichols in Detroit.